Uh, on behalf of the entire GM team, I want to thank the administration for extending a financial bridge to the U.S. auto industry and to our nation's economy. This action will help to preserve many jobs and support the continued operation of GM and the many suppliers, dealers, and small businesses across the country that depend on our company and our industry. In addition to President Bush and the administration, I'd like to recognize and thank a number of other people who have worked so hard to lead to today's announcement, uh, starting with Ron Gettelfinger and the UAW, who have been tireless in their leadership uh, in this process. My colleagues at Ford and Chrysler, Alan Mulally and Bob Nardelli, who, who work with us very closely to make the industry's case in Washington. And to the many members of Congress who have been engaged so proactively in this, especially our Michigan delegation, which has put in countless hours on our industry's behalf, as has our governor. We thank all of those people. Finally, I want to thank our GM employees for their amazingly hard work, some all last night, in fact, and their tremendous support as we've worked to guide GM through this challenging time. Our focus now turns to fully and rapidly implementing the restructuring plan that we reviewed with Congress earlier this month in conjunction with all of our key partners. In many ways, our restructuring plan accelerates and expands the transformation that we've been driving in North America for the past several years, but it's really a blueprint for a new General Motors, one for our second 100 years. It's a plan that's dedicated to great products, world-class quality and exciting design, to fu fully committing us to leading in energy-saving vehicles and technology, a company that's responsive to the needs of our customers and shareholders, and focused on long-term sustainable success. We know we have a lot of work in front of us to accomplish this plan, and we look forward to working closely with the administration and appropriate government officials, our debt holders, unions, dealers, suppliers, and other key stakeholders. It's our intention to be transparent as we execute our plan, and we will provide you regular updates on our progress. 